Y'all can't even see me. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my comfy corner of the internet. If you're new here, hi, I'm Shio. If you're not new here, hi, I'm still Shio. So, today's video is literally just a, a thrifting video. I've done one of these before on my channel, but it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't great because I didn't thrift that many pieces and I only went to one store, but today, I am going to a Goodwill, and then yesterday I went to a Goodwill, and the day before I went to two Goodwills. So, you're getting content today. I think that the way that I'll structure this video is I will show you guys what I got yesterday and the day before, after, today. So it's like reverse order. Anyway, okay. So without further ado, let's just get into driving there and playing some nice music. I get an ad. I get an ad instead. Okay, let's just go. Here we go. Let's go. We made it. One eternity later. Um, I didn't find anything. Okay, so I feel like I didn't give a proper um, reaction to what I just found, so look, sorry about that, um, it literally looks like something that you would find um, on Mercari Japan, but literally it's only $4. How did I find this? This is what happens when you listen to Tommy February while you thrift. So yeah, let's keep the good vibes going. I'm looking at shirts right now. kind of cute but I feel like I'm not gonna wear these color combos but I like the buttons on it they're really cute actually It's a baby. There's no tag. Why? So, I feel like I'm finding a lot of pieces that are reminding me of Japanese fashion, which is a fashion I'm currently very into, like I mentioned before with Mercari Japan. Um, just looking and browsing on there, there's a lot of pieces that are very similar to the ones that I'm picking up and some that I've seen online and that's crazy because I'm like smack dab in the middle of the south. What's going on with that?
It's literally like a jumper. It's so cute though. It says, oh, that's so cute. This one's really pretty, but it smells funky, so I'm putting it back. I think it's way too big. That's cute. I'm in the jeans section right now, so I'm just looking through to see if there's anything that piques my interest. Usually everything at the, the store is like high rise, and I don't really do high rise because I have really long legs and I just make them like 10 times longer, so this isn't for me. But I'm looking through to see if there's any low rise jeans that I could potentially wear. Ooh, that I could potentially wear to work that don't have any rips in them. Wait, these are cute. Hang on. They are skinny though. What size? Size 12. I'm gonna try these. My nail just broke. So sad. We're in the skirt section now. Colors like green, which I don't really wear. I kind of just skim over and see if there's anything interesting. But if there's not, I don't even look too in depth. I just ripped something off the hanger. But colors like, sorry, <laughs> back to what I was saying. Colors like pink and like blue. I do tend to wear pretty often, so I do kind of go through each of those colors pretty, like every single eye. Look how pretty this, this little pattern is. That's so cute. I already have too many black skirts. So let's just move those over. Another thing is these are size small, but I usually can't fit into a size small um, clothing wise. But since pretty much every brand has a different size chart, size measurements, I do still look anyway, just in case I do find something that might potentially fit. If you're into like the lingerie type look, definitely go to a pajama sections because there are a lot- oh my gosh, where'd it go? There, <laughs> there are a lot of really cute um, little slips here hidden in the flannels. That one's really pretty. I'm checking out now. There's someone watching me. I got the goods. My mom still isn't here, so we're walking over to Hobby Lobby. Yay! I'm not gonna spend any money there. I can't. I don't need anything. So we're just gonna walk. Oh my gosh. You guys wanna see something? Padawan braid. Um, me and my. What I was saying before I so rudely got interrupted by a car trying to hit me, um, me and my roommate both got matching Padawan braids. And by God, I mean just braided our own hair. So yay. It's a Hello Kitty claw clip. That's so cute. And we also have Kuropi. There we go. Should I get this decal for my car? It's so cute. I'm hungry. And Burger King smells really good right now. 
but my mom's on her way. So I'm loitering while I wait. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next day. I have my big bag of Goodwill stuff that I plan on trying on. Um, I'm also in my pajamas, so don't mind that. I ended up going to one Goodwill near me in the morning. And then I only got one thing and I'll show you guys that. But then I also went to another Goodwill at the end of the day that was a town over and got like seven things. So that was a much better haul. But we'll see how everything turns out fitting wise. I got this skirt from um, the first Goodwill. I thought the bottom detail was really pretty to like layer under things because it has the asymmetrical line and the lace and I don't know I'm not really a big fan of this pattern but I think it'll be okay so I'm gonna try that on from the second goodwill first thing that I found this is the first thing that I showed y'all I think it's like I don't know this is like the coolest shirt ever but it's this really pretty like teal tank top and it has this front corset design which is really interesting and then here's the tag, pretty angel. So of course I was in the tank top section first. So these are the first two things that I actually found but I only started recording when I found that top because it was just so pretty to pass up. So here's this one, it's actually from Romwe I think, yeah. New with tags. Unfortunately, actually fortunately I do not support Romwe. They're she and sister brands, so I don't support them. But buying things secondhand gives them a second life, so um, either way, might as well buy it, right? So this is that top. It has this really pretty lace detail on the front and on the bottom. This is the brand. I ended up looking them up, and they have like really expensive things, but I've never seen this brand before. And the quality, it's... I can't tell if it's really good quality or really bad quality. So we're gonna have to try it on to see. The next thing that I bought was this little gingham top and I've seen a lot of these on my Pinterest. So I figured I might as well pick it up. It is a blue color. I don't know if that picks up as blue or black on camera, but it is blue. It's made out of 100% cotton. So that's nice and I think it'll be really cute. And like I said, my Pinterest has a lot of pictures that look like this exact top. Then we have this. You guys saw what this was. This thing is massive. I think it's a two or three XL. It's a three XL, but it's like the coolest. Look, look at that print. I think it's supposed to be tiger stripes because that makes sense because there's a tiger on the front but it kind of reads more as zebra stripes and then a tiger so it's kind of like the predator prey play on design i guess it's really fun i'm gonna try it on it's gonna look like a dress on me i'm sure but i think it's really cool it looks like this here's the tag but i think this will be really fun to stuff so i'll see how it looks tried on the last thing I found was this pair of pants, and like I mentioned, I wanted some that I can wear to work but have some personality to them. Not just like the basic straight leg, no rips, no nothing. Um, these are skinny jeans. I'm not really sure how I feel about skinny jeans, but we'll see because they are low rise and I do prefer low rise over high rise. And they have the prettiest design on the butt. And they look in really good condition. The only thing that's like slightly falling apart is the tag because it's not connected. But they're by the brand Viva Jeans. And they're quite long as you can see, which is what I need. My legs are freakishly long. I'm praying that these will fit. That was it. My total ended up coming to $40.35. The first skirt that I bought cost uh, about $7. Okay, I changed back into pajamas because that's that kind of day outside. Um, 
in conclusion, the only two things that I'm kind of iffy about is unfortunately, the most beautiful top. This thing is like gorgeous. And I looked at the material tag and it's literally made up of 45% silk, 35% polyester, 20% cotton. Silk for $4. Anyway, it's just too big for me. It doesn't fit me quite right. It kind of fits, um, it's a large, and it kind of fits like large, X large kind of thing. So I think I'm gonna be selling this online because it's such a pretty piece and I want someone to have it. So I'm not gonna market it a lot, just a little bit to cover shipping and all that. Here's my Depop or Poshmark. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna pick, but here you go. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day, morning, night, witching hour. Have a great anything. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed. Um, ciao.